Okay, so this is Premiere Pro Quick Chip, how to master the audio of your entire timeline. Um, this comes in handy when you want to finalize your video, you want it all to sound the same, you also don't want it to peak, and you also want um, to widen um, and also amplify those quiet parts of your video. Um, the problem that I found in the past is that you have all your soundtracks right here. So this is um, all my soundtracks for this video. And the, the thing I've wanted to do is I wanted to take it all and then nest them um, but you can't nest them because they won't they won't nest they'll just stay there the video will nest um, so you find yourself with all these these soundtracks and you don't want to master all of them individually so what this is what you do you take your sequence and you copy it or you duplicate it so this is the duplicated version you want to title this mastering so you don't get them mixed up um, and then you add it right back on top I take um, the soundtrack and move it right underneath so it matches exactly up I solo it and then I add the mastering on top um, I go in and it's the same it's the same um, sound clips um, just now all nested together and now you edit it and you can use your favorite preset um, Oftentimes, if you don't know how mastering works, I always go with Make Room for Vocals. It just allows for your vocals um, to shine through past your music bed. And then I change the output gain so that way it never peaks over um, zero, zero decibels. Um, widener is so that way it just feels like it's a larger piece. It widens out the, the audio. I know that's not very um, descriptive, but... Um, it does make your makes your sound sound a lot better. So then I finish that up, make sure it's soloed, and then um, it should work. So all that, and then you export it out. Um, just make sure that you solo it so that way you don't have um, double tracks. And that is my Premiere Pro quick tip. Um, I believe we finished it in less than two minutes.